Well, it is great to see you. Hope you're doing well. I'm your American weatherman, Carl Rippey. Appreciate you joining us. We've got lots going on, so come on in. We'll check this out together. We have some of uh, that uh, developing stormy conditions that are trying to make their way in. This is a uh, latest loop of our satellite, so looking down on the Caribbean from space, kind of going to the other side of it. We'll see that those clouds, they are trying to make their way in, working in from the open waters of the Caribbean through and across one happy island. And there seems to be some concern about the uh, hurricane that's sitting out in the mid-Atlantic. We've got Kirk here dwelling uh, about 2,000 miles from us and that has a long ways to go to get to us. It also is going to take a track that is going to take it a little further away from us. So that's good news. Now are we going to get in on some of that disturbance? Well possibly, but it does uh, make for a little bit of a distance as we go through the latter part of the day into tomorrow. It's 15 to 1700 miles away. Now we could get in on a little bit of that action from the outer bands, but it doesn't look like it's going to be impactful to one happy island. So Kurt is sitting out in the mid-Atlantic as we get through our Thursdays. It is going to develop some. We do have a category one, two, and then a category three hurricane, but it's well out into the Atlantic. Give you an idea of kind of its position by comparison to where we are. It's sitting well to our east, so quite a ways away from us. It is looking to develop just a bit, but it's going to develop away from us so that the impact to us isn't going to be significant. Now we do have some of that disturbance that is trying to make it into our area, which is uh, softly associated with Kirk, but we do have some atmosphere that stirred up some. That means we could get a cloud cover that's fairly heavy. We could get a shower, we could get a sprinkle, we could get some gusty conditions. That could uh, stir the water up just a little bit for us. And you'll notice that as that disturbance does make its way through, we're feeling the effects of that now. We may have some of that that'll be residual as we get overnight into our Thursday and our Friday. So this is the way it looks. This darker green, especially the heavier green, that's where we see a shower or two. Where it's lighter green, it's just that heavy laden cloud cover that could release a sprinkle at any moment, looking to deliver some of that rain into our area, pushing into the uh, Caribbean where we uh, can really see some of that uh, action. As we get through our Saturday, looking out to the weekend just to take you out just a bit so you have an idea of what to expect for our Saturday. And we'll talk about this just a little bit more tomorrow, give you an idea of what this is uh, really meaning to us. Now across the ABC Islands, not too much doing in terms of wave height. We're about where we would normally be. Maybe a little taller, meter and a half, two meters here and there. Temperature wise though, and out on the beach for us, Eagle Beach across much of uh, our area, it's not going to be too bad at all. Mid 80s, lower 80s, going to feel pretty good. And then look at this, our morning low, that's going to be pleasant. Making it into the upper 80s for our afternoon, fairly standard for us. Overnight lows though have dropped a bit, so it is going to be much nicer as we go through the weekend and into next week, even though we're going to be in the upper 80s. We'll see a lot of those uh, conditions that are going to be really pleasant overnight. Now that's a quick look at our weather on One Happy Island, available through Linky TV and uh, Ruben Native News.